Good evening, good evening, chaps. Um, carrying on for my initial sort of Arch Linux install, I thought I'd continue to show how to compile DWM, which is a very common newbie question, and I thought I would uh, do the suckless community a disservice by telling you, hand-holding you, and telling you how to compile DWM. But first things first, First things first, I did file a bug about that silly SysLinux issue that I had. And, you know, if you if you see an issue in Arch Linux or any other Linux distribution, file a bug. And uh, often I get shot down by some maintainer, even, you know, complaining I'm being dumb. But it's still a, a learning process and I recommend you do it too. So this is basically where we left off. And I want to... come show you how to customize your window manager customize it first let's get the source uh oh let's get the source shall we let's get the source the source the source you're probably thinking i'm just a computer user why do i need to compile the source you need to compile the source guys that's how you basically you know, learn to fish. Uh oh. Probably need a bit more than that even. Oh dear. I don't want to reinstall. Just want git then. Please. And now I drag down Pearl. So um, Git is just a version control program. It looks really daunting at first. It really isn't. It just takes care of the revisions of your of your uh, source control. Just learn how to use it. Just just learn how to use it. You need to know how to use it sooner or later. It's even if you don't code, even if you write documents, you will want to use Git sooner or later just to manage. The version control. Even if you just, even if you just manipulate images, or if you're doing photography, you want to use something like Git so that you can roll back, and diff, and figure out what's changed. Um, okay, I can't. Archlinux.org. Actually, let's just go to my brother. Archlinux.org. Oh, my washing's done. I saw that noise. And uh, DWM, let's have a look at the package build, view package build, source files. So why am I looking at the package build? I'm looking at the package build to see what the dependencies are to maybe build this thing. <laughs> X11 Libzeromer, okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, let's get DWM down. Let's get DWM down. Make is not found. <laughs> I, I, th I thought I installed base develop. It doesn't have make. Let me tell you, that's another thing you should learn. Make is the most fundamental tool you could possibly use in just about anything to do with computers. Basically, well, if you're building stuff, if you're actually creating stuff, make basically is a simple sort of file where you describe how your source file turns into its sort of product. You should be using it for every everything you do, really. Um, make. Now it's missing GCC. What the hell is going on? Um, yes, I hate these things. Okay, GCC is the compiler. The GNU compiler. It compiles C and it also compiles C++ confusingly. My tip for today is just use C. It's a lot saner language. It's not as complex. And I'm all for less complexity in my life. 
Less complexity, less code. That's the suck less way. Less code, less bugs, all that stuff. All that really good stuff. And my internet seems slow today too. Why is it taking so long? Hmm. Hmm. Checking my mirror. Hmm. Why is that so slow? That is really slow. Sorry, this is like really boring, isn't it? I'll get back to you just to make sure the video is all working. Yes, I was eye perfing and it does look like there's something wrong with my internet connection. But anyway, hopefully we can now compile. Yes! Some scary er errors. Wow. Uh, use WPPP. WPP. W what? BSD source is depreciated. Okay, so what was I doing there? I was compiling DWM. And what do you do to compile it? You just run make. And I got it in a checked out directory, home Henry DWM. So, hmm, hmm. A lot of people complain with DWM that there's no sort of configuration file, but they lack a little bit of in, um, imagination. Hmm? They lack a little bit of imagination because you can use the config.h as a configuration file. Let's go ln minus s. Um, oops, what am I doing? ln minus s. Uh, Sorry, I, 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 oh no, I haven't got my keyboard set up. I don't, I don't okay. Uh, DWM, okay, the configuration file is called config.h. And if you're uh, some newbie, you're probably expecting a dwmrc file. So let's create that DWMRC file and let's change some settings, shall we? Um, I'm just going to change this to like web or something like that. So the first workspace or what's it called? Tag is called web. What else shall I change? I, th I think that's enough for now just to prove my point. Oops. So now I've changed it uh, and, and I've also modified my XNRC to make before to make DWM before running it. That should work. P kill X. Start X. Make. Checks if there's anything changed. If there is anything changed, it compiles it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I have now customized my, oops. I can focus there. I have customized my DWM with a with a configuration file. Yeesh. So um, yeah, that's. I think that finishes my example of how you start to customize DWM. Um, let me load up this .xrc and oh gosh, how do you make writing bigger again? Can you see that? And then yes, I just sim linked the config to h2 dwmrc whatever the hell I want to call my stupid configuration file, and you just make edits there. The um, ooh, the configuration file looks a little um, maybe overwhelming at first, but ooh, ooh, why? 
sorry, I am in a, in a mess with my see syntax on. Maybe that will make it let this the C code less scary. Uh, it doesn't really recognize its C code, I guess, anymore. Yeah, you can customize your font, some colors. I'll just go crazy, just experiment. Have a look at the at the web page. I think these other people uh, using DDM. I, just just go a GitHub search. I'm I'm sure you'll find lots of other people's DDM DWM oops, config dot h. Okay, so that's how you customize DWM. I hope you found it entertaining. <laughs>